Ansh puts $10,000 into a savings account with a 6% interest rate, compounded annually. How many years will it take for this amount to double? Using the compound interest formula, the total amount needs to be $20,000, our principal amount is $10,000, our interest rate is 0.06, and it's compounded annually, so n equals 1. We are looking to solve for t, so let's simplify what we have. We can divide by 10,000 on both sides, which is 2 on this side, it cancels itself out on this side. Then, we are left with 1.06 to the t power. In order to solve for t, we can take the log of both sides so that log of 2 will equal log of 1.06 to the t power. And if we use the base of 1.06, this will cancel itself out. That means we are left with log base 1.06 of 2 equals t. Next, according to the change of base formula, log base 1.06 of 2 is equivalent to log 2 divided by log 1.06. After typing this into a calculator, we can round our answer to the nearest whole number to get 12. This means that it will take about 12 years for the money in Ansh's saving account to double. Let's check our math using that mental math shortcut of the rule of 72, a quick way to compute compound interest. The rule of 72 says that if we take the number 72 and divide it by the growth rate, we'll get the number of years it will take to double the initial amount. For Ansh's savings account, that's 72 divided by the growth rate of 6%, which equals 12, which is what we got earlier from our logarithmic calculations. Now you know how to solve for how long it will take for our savings account, or anything that has exponential growth, to reach a certain amount, using logs and specifically for doubling initial amounts, the rule of 72. Continue on to the practice problems to learn more about how this works.